Hello everyone, my name is Yumi Huang Williams. I am the concertmaster of the Colorado Symphony. We are a family of musicians and um, we enjoy making music together and it's an incredibly um, fun, exciting, challenging experience. I'm so honored and privileged to be part of this organization, partly because we are a family and we collaborate and work together very closely, not just on stage, but with the staff and, and the guild and the chorus. And it takes many, many people to keep our organization running smoothly so that our community has excellent music provided for them. It has been an incredible journey so far. Um, being concert master is a role that I never really aspired to. As concertmaster, I'm also trying to um, convey messages and leading, and then we also have peripheral vision where we're checking in with each other, or always aware of each other. It's an incredibly fluid process and never the same twice. I love the orchestral literature that we play, the big symphonic works. Um, it is the grandest um, of the violin repertoire. Playing music for me um, and playing the violin is like an addiction or obsession. One of the joys too is that you just, you're sort of hypnotized. I mean, I, I lose sense of time. Of course, music is about the manipulation of time. It's, it's a wonderful way to lose yourself. When you play in a symphony orchestra where you are one of many. The teamwork and ensemble playing that is um, required is so challenging on a different level. The th thrill that we can get from playing and making music with so many people is just incomparable. You have 80 so musicians on stage, highly trained, um, that are making music in real time. There's no editing, there's no um, stop and get to start again, take two, take three. This is happening right there. Why the violin? That is a really good question. Um, after my family immigrated to um, Philadelphia, my mom met a Korean teacher at the school which I was supposed to enter in fifth grade. And they conspired and next thing I knew, I just had a violin show up. That's how it all began. I went to the Curtis Institute of Music and uh, did my training there, which was an amazing experience. 
I think the mystery of the symphony orchestra is this incredible will to work together. Working at that instant, trying to create something. I think that's why so many business leaders often want to approach the symphony about collaboration and leadership skills because um, it really is a marvel. People, when they watch the Olympics, they can recognize that these athletes, you know, have to do their task at the very best level for that three minutes or so forth. We are athletes of fine motor skills. Look at my fingers at work and wrists. And it is very athletic what we do, and we do have to keep in shape. The amount of maintenance that we have in terms of keeping ourselves physically well to do a, a season-long um, job is, is quite demanding. Um, I often joke with my personnel manager that we should have a posted DL list because throughout the season, inevitably, you know, we have people out with tendonitis or shoulder issues or um, other, other physical ailments that really come with our profession. You know, you never take for granted what it's like to be on the stage and to perform. And the challenge of this repertoire and your desire to play at your best is what keeps me going. Um, I can't really see an end. I do love the violin. Um, it has the ability to sing and uh, it, I think, is closest to the human voice, although the cellists might argue with that. Um, the piano is pretty fantastic. I think I've had some piano envy over the years. Um, I, actually, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't give up the violin for the piano, but I would learn to play the piano in addition to the violin. I really can't even picture it. I, I imagine I could be doing something else, but um, I'm, I'm just so grateful to be a musician and a violinist and playing um, beautiful music in this beautiful state of Colorado, and um, it's a, just a, a joy, and I hope that you will come and share that joy with us. If you have not been to the symphony, um, I really urge you to come, partly because it's therapy. I can guarantee that you will come and you will forget about your troubles for the two hours. Unlike attending sporting events, if you come to hear the Colorado Symphony, everyone wins. And it's a wrap.